hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to phantom strategies so in this video I want to cover Tron uh, it's been a while since we um, we actually caught up on Tron uh, so I want to bring you a quick video review for Tron uh, to give you some insight on how the technicals are looking um, what kind of uh, news event that are coming up in Tron um, and what to expect going into next week um, into the into next month and all those good stuff all right so before we get it started again if you're new to the channel please make sure to subscribe to the channel I post this content every day um, and um, please make sure to hit those notification icons so you get this content right away since we this market uh, does move a lot and it's a very dynamic market so you want to make sure that you're staying on top of it all right um, so let's get it started on Tron <clears throat> so um, Tron just to recap on this chart kind of walk you through this chart um, so it made this breakout it, it had a uh, nice breakout back in December uh, and since then it made this all-time high around 30 cents uh, that's when I originally like you know started creating this uh, videos con video content on this channel and uh, I mentioned earlier that back then that it's just too much stretched out and like you know people were talking about it people were talking that's going to moon it's gonna go to a dollar but it was just too much extended and it just needed some time to consolidate all right so it did consolidate but the overall market um, consolidated and actually uh, came in the downtrend um, so since then what happened is try to try to make this few runs try to make uh, to get out of this consolidation zone uh, but it never really followed through um, very typical to a lot of altcoins that have been trading in past couple of months it's a very typical pattern of a lot of altcoins um, whether it's Tron whether it's like you know Cardano a lot of them have been in pretty uh, downtrend and just uh, the other problem you have to realize this coins are this old coin especially this newer projects they are very early in their adoption stage think of Bitcoin back in 2009 right um, 2009 when people thought this was a Bitcoin was a big scam um, you know it was trading in pennies you know and people uh, really thought that hey this is this is or, like who would buy something like this and people really thought it was a big scam so um, again this is in very early stage this thing it, the true potential of the coin it's very hard to tell right now you know that's why I always say that you only want to dedicate X amount to this kind of early stage projects because you don't know how well they will be executed how well they will be accepted in the real world and you really have to wait it out and see how well they will perform um, so you 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 cannot just simply put in like 50 percent of your portfolio into coin like this these all right you, you have to understand that there's a lot of risk involved yeah it can go up but it can definitely come down and it can stay down for months and years if you if you look at you know I mean Tron is not a very good example but I will show you the example of coins that have been uh, they haven't been moved for like you know a couple of years so it and it can happen to any coin it not just Tron or and it can happen to any coin so um, what I'm trying to say is you know you want to dedicate only certain percentage of your portfolio to coin like this I wouldn't dedicate more than maybe like seven eight percent or maybe like at maximum like um, to the coins like this because they're very speculative in na nature unless you have a very high risk tolerance um, you know you want to you want to make sure you're setting up your portfolio in a, in a way that you, know, you can withstand a lot of this like you know negative news in the overall market and um, just a lot of like you know uh, this heavy downtrend that we have been in past couple of months all right so um, that being said you know let's talk about like uh, I wanted to bring you a uh, to this website I have mentioned this on the web uh, on the on the channel before coin checkup has this new feature where you actually can click on this event tab 
and what it does is it gives you all the events that are upcoming for that for that project or for that coin all right so for uh, for Tron they have this German um, weekly report um, which is uh, which is like you know having a weekly report in in German so they they want to they they want to expand to like you know broader community um so that's a that's a good th that's a good thing you know as they are staying active and um they're trying to expand to broader community so um that's that's something going to happen on i believe 22nd so um yeah that's that's a good thing and the other thing that i'm really uh, looking out for is this coin burn that is coming up around the March March 30 uh, for Tron uh, so this is the first beta launch um, that's another thing that's coming out on March 31st uh, Tron will launch the first beta version on Extorius that, that's the uh, the wallet so that that's a very good thing this a lot of people use this wallet including myself um, so we I will be very very curious how the install uh, the um, the installation goes and how is this beta version uh, will come about so we'll find out testnet launch um, all right that's another event on March uh, March 31st so there are a lot of events that's coming for Tron in March 31st this coin burn is also coming so um, end of March seems like a pretty packed schedule for Tron now um, right now the market obviously um, is taking a dive and Tron is taking a dive with it so the question is is it going to hold up um, that's <laughs> the thing is if the overall market is gonna sell off then it's every coin will get hit it's not just Tron every single coin will get hit alright so keep that in mind but that being said, Tron is coming to a, like a, one of the major res, uh, support points. So previously, this was acting as a major support, which is around um, 0 0.025 cents, and that's where Tron is trading is coming to that level right now. It's at 0 0.026, so it's almost there, and it's 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 and as one of those support level that we previously tested and uh, it, it did held it uh, so it did hold up back then and so hopefully it will um, hold up this time as well so if you want to get into Tron then this might be a good opportunity but again um, you can do a couple of things you can either go with a smaller very tiny positions and then add on to it if it like you know drops 10% more you can add on like maybe uh, additional position uh, or you can go with your stop losses you know you can go have a tight stop losses for 3% maybe 4% and have those tight stop losses so those are the couple of things that you can do um, if you if you are interested in getting the Tron and um, Tron is one of the coin that I uh, it have a lot of potential I, I'm not going to I'm not going to just keep on um, saying same thing again and again but I, I think the coin does have potential it um, the team behind Tron um, the guy who invented Tron uh, Justin um, Justin Sun he seems like a very uh, you know his He's very active on social media, but he also seems to like have very good team behind the project. So uh, they are pretty actively uh, working on all the coding and all trying to get this project online as soon as possible. So uh, that being said, I think uh, just to recap right now, uh, it's coming to the support level, which was previously um, previously held hold, uh, held up. Um, it was in back in early February that's when we tested that support uh, when the overall market took a nosedive and now we're coming back to that point again so uh, that would be the good point in my opinion to uh, start a maybe position or add on to some position in Tron we have been going in this steady downtrend in Tron um, so uh, I mean it's, it's going to be a matter of time when we you know get out of it so it's almost like a falling wedge right now uh, but we will 
sooner or later we will get out of it okay so um, I'm watching Tron and I think this this volume is declining on the on the downside so there might be um, there might be some movement on the upside but again the overall market needs to get better and needs to um, stay over for the Bitcoin we need to get over that 8300 mark right now Bitcoin is trading around 7600 so um, the overall market is selling off and a lot of things a lot of coins are selling off with them all right so but in this market what you can do is you know you know keep your keep your um, first of all you know make sure you have positive attitude uh, don't become like you know um, it's it's about like a mind game you know it's, it's like uh, if you have to stay positive in this kind of market you realize that you are not the only one who is sitting in the red um, the thing is you have to understand is you have to do your proper um, your trade management your proper you need to set up your por portfolio so it's not like taking a huge nosedive other thing you want to watch out for is like you know um, just like looking for the good coins don't just go for uh, too many speculative coins uh, look for uh, like you know <clears throat> coins like you know Litecoin is a good one I'm watching Litecoin right now if, if it Litecoin comes to that 143 mark 142 mark I will be looking into Litecoin uh, position I will definitely look into that at position to add or Litecoin around that mark because it's coming at this 200 moving average and also the previous resistance that was tested um, and it held up so I will be looking into Litecoin so I'm, I'm when the overall market dives make sure you're not just looking into speculative coins you're also looking into more stable and tested coins okay so going back to all right so Tron again uh, coming to the support level um there is a there could be a trade if there's a news that's coming up um coin burn coming up on march 30th so and there's a lot of like you know the first beta launch um for the extorters wallet um that should be good news so let's see how it, how it holds up and um and we'll like you know cover tron again but right now it's um is selling off with the overall market so uh, we'll, we'll find out okay so that's all guys let me know if you have any questions again I think it's a good coin but it's still very in an early adopt ad adoption stage it's, it's a very early to predict that hey this coin going to have a home run or is it going to be one of the like you know average coin or is it gonna be a complete dud alright so it's just in that early stage right now um, so it's, it's that makes it a speculative coin that's like you know whether you like it or not it makes it a speculative coin it can have it can give you a great return or it might not give you such a great return that's why you only you know invest certain amount of your portfolio in this kind of coins you never go all in in this kind of coins because I mean it still hasn't proven itself it's still in that you know beta phase so alright so um, that's all guys talk to you soon and um, I will do some more altcoins video tomorrow alright good night